Hey everybody, and welcome to my review of the Master Grade Aegis Gundam. So here I'll be looking at the mobile suit itself without its weapons and equipment. The new Master Grade seed kits look great, and the Aegis is no exception. The first thing you'll notice straight away is the colour scheme, which is dominated mainly by a striking reddish pink. The colour quality is great but I don't like the colour scheme of the Aegis as much as I like that of the Infinite Justice. The Infinite Justice has a lot of whites which have a great contrast against the pink, whereas I find the white in the head of the Aegis is very isolated and looks a bit lost in all the pinkish red. One of my favourite things about this kit is how the upper set of limbs from the Mobile Armour mode make up the arms and parts of the torso, which is a really unique and cool design. For example, the side parts of the torso are the upper leg parts of the upper limbs, and the shoulder armour is the calf area of the upper limbs. Ok, now from the side view. From this view you can see that the side skirt armour part in this kit is pretty big, and that's why I'm using this base here to support the kit. And now a look at the rear of the kit. There's not really much to point out here besides the unusual long backpack design, which forms the tail-like section when transformed into the mobile armour. Okay, so onto the head unit. I have never really been a fan of the design of the elongated head cameras on Atheron's mobile suits, but Bandai have made it look great here. It's a real shame that the clear parts used in the camera aren't moulded in a clear blue, and they've just included crappy foil stickers as an alternative. And around the back here, you can see the detailing of the back of the head and the rear head camera which is also in a colourless plastic. One negative point about this kit is the waist unit. It looks very bare compared to the rest of the kit and makes the area around the central part of the mobile suit look very awkward. Though this is mainly because the transformation centres around this area and I'm guessing this lack of armour is to facilitate the transformation. The joint where the torso attaches to the waist is a single ball joint and could definitely look a lot better. You can see through to the peg that's attaching the two sections and it just looks bad. But as a bonus, this makes it very flexible at the waist. Overall this kit looks great. It really stands out due to its striking colour scheme and unique transformable design. The only real down point is that it looks a bit bare around the waist, but that's a small price to pay for the ability to turn it into a kick-ass prawn squid with a beam vagina. So I'm going to give the Master Grade Aegis a 7.5 out of 10 for aesthetics. Okay, so now onto quality. First I'm going to talk about the plastic in this kit. As with the rest of the new seed kits, the plastic quality here is top notch. The colour is very vivid and is true to the anime. Maybe it could be a bit darker but I think it looks great. One of the biggest letdowns of this kit is that for some reason Bandai decided that the clear parts, which should be a clear blue, would be colourless. Which I find confusing. The Master Grade Blitz comes with accurately coloured clear parts, but the Jewel, Buster and now the Aegis don't. It doesn't make any sense. Mold and seam lines are pretty minimal, so there's not much to say about that. Just like the Jewel Buster and Blitz, the joint strength on this kit is great. And it will hold any pose you put it in, no matter how dynamic. One fear I had about this kit before it was released is that the joint strength would be pretty crappy. A lot of transforming kits in the past have had either dodgy joints or very limited articulation. This joint here is a little sketchy. To connect the two parts of this joint you really do have to force the parts together. And I can already see this joint starting to weaken. Next up is loose parts. There really aren't that many to talk about on this kit, except for this one part here. It doesn't take much to knock it off and it will keep falling off again and again. Which is strange, as this one here on the left never falls off.
The colors are great, the joints are strong, and the kit is very solid. However, the negative aspects are that the waist joint could be better, the colorless clear parts, and the loose side skirt. So I'm going to give the Master Grade Aegis a solid 8 out of 10 for quality. Okay, so now on to gimmicks. The standard gimmicks found in Master Grade kits can be found here, such as an opening cockpit. This isn't the most detailed or interesting looking cockpit, but given that this is a transforming Gundam, I think it's pretty good. Also, the knee armor moves when you bend the leg at the knee, which is also a pretty standard gimmick in a Master Grade kit. One thing that I think is really cool in this kit is that knee bendy gimmick thing is also present in the shoulder armor, which makes up the knee joint in the upper set of limbs in the mobile armor mode. And now to the main gimmick, the Aegis's transformation into mobile armor mode. So I'm going to try and do this all in one go with as little screw ups as possible. And this is the mobile armor mode. Definitely one of the coolest and well implemented transformations I've seen in a Gundam kit. So for gimmicks, I have to give the Master Grade Aegis Gundam a massive 9 out of 10 for having an amazing transformation that both looks awesome and doesn't negatively affect the articulation or stability of the mobile suit mode. The Master Grade Aegis comes with what is essentially the standard Gundam loadout, which is a beam rifle, shield and beam sabers. The beam rifle has an adjustable guard and handle. This piece here at the back of the rifle can be pulled out for when it's equipped in the Aegis's hand and pushed back in again for storage on the side skirts. Next up is the shield, which is pretty substandard looking for a master grade kit. This is the front here and this is the back. The rear side of the shield has these really obvious hollows, which you would expect to see on a high grade or no grade, but not on a master grade. This handle here doesn't look too great either. This grey part here is for connecting the shield to the mobile suit. And using this slot here, you can attach the beam rifle to the shield. My favorite accessory with this kit is the beam sabers. They are molded in a clear yellow plastic and unlike most usual beam sabers they are slightly frosted which looks nice. There are four sets of hands, clenched fists, open hands, hands for holding the beam rifles and hands for holding the shield. It also comes with the usual 1 is to 100 scale figure. Next, attaching the accessories to the kit. The swappable hands, or fingers should I say, slot into the main hand section here. The beam parts attach the white blades on the hands and feet. They slide on really easily but fits so snugly that there's no danger of them falling off. The rifle attaches by folding in the handle and the guard and it connects to the side skirt here. The shield connects using this grey piece here. The longer part is for connecting it to the side skirt and the shorter part is for connecting it to the forearm. I'm going to give the Master Grade Aegis Gundam a 7 out of 10 for accessories. The shield looks subpar for a Master Grade, 
but the beam sabers look awesome. There are also no extras such as a base or LEDs. First the articulation in the arm. The elbow joint can bend all the way until the forearm touches the shoulder and at the shoulder joint the arm can be moved all the way up to the shoulder armor. Next the articulation of the foot and of the ankle. These joints don't have the largest range of motion. This is more than likely down to the transformation. But the knee is just as impressive as that in the Jewel Blitz and Buster. At the hip, the leg can be raised quite high at the front. The movement is more limited at the back. And yes, the Aegis can do the splits. Articulation at the neck is good, and the head doesn't get blocked or catch on anything. And as there's not much armor at the waist, and the joint is a simple ball joint, the articulation at the waist is amazing, especially when bending towards the front. The articulation here is fantastic, and is additionally impressive when you consider that this is a transforming kit. But due to the narrow range of motion at the ankles, wide ground stances are limited. I give the Aegis Gundam an 8 out of 10 for articulation and posability. So my final verdict for the Master Grade GATX303 Aegis Gundam is 8 out of 10. Master Grade kits keep on getting better and better, and Bandai are definitely on top of their game with these new seed kits. The Aegis is definitely the most unique out of the four new releases, and the transformation to mobile armor mode looks great. It's definitely a must buy for any seed fans, and even if you're not, I'd highly recommend it. So, thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe, like and leave a comment. I'll be reviewing all of the original 5 Seed Gundams later, as well as the new Master Grade H2 Dark Hound, which will be released later this month. Also check out the link in the video description below for more pictures and a written review.